All right, so there is no way I could have seen this coming. There's no way anybody could have seen this coming because it has literally never happened before in the history of this game. Um, as you guys can see, Global's about to get a new dual Dokkan Fest, I would assume within the next, you know, two to three days or so. And JP is also getting that same dual Dokkan Festival. Now, I'm not saying that we've never had joint celebrations on both sides, because of course we have for like the worldwide celebration and, you know, stuff like that. Wait, is that the only time? Um, there might be, oh, Saiyan Day, obviously we get banners at the same time, but we've never gotten the Golden Week Dual Dokkan Festival on Global at the same time that JP's had it, you know? Like, so this is definitely a first. Um, I'm shocked, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I'm very happy about it. It's a pleasant surprise for sure, because we weren't really, we weren't really sure what Global was gonna be getting, you know, within the next couple of weeks, because like, there was this weird dead period you know, when JP was gonna get their Golden Week celebration, and then of course there's Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day coming up, but uh, Global is kind of like in limbo for that period. And some people maybe were like, there's a chance this year we get that Dual Dokkan Fest at the same time as JP, but it hasn't happened before, so I was like, there's no way, you know, there's no precedent for it. And clearly I was wrong, man, because it's, it's happening. We're getting a new GT Goku a new GT Vegeta, and uh, both sides are getting it at the same time, so yeah, for global players, this is definitely a nice surprise. This is definitely very much welcome. I hope uh, my global players out there didn't spend too many stones on PyCon and Janemba, because uh, that would be very unfortunate. That would be very, very unfortunate. Um, so yeah, that's the big news, guys. That's the main thing. We don't know exactly you know what they're gonna do we don't know exactly you know what the units are gonna look like of course because we haven't had any uh, you know data download or official reveal on Twitter although that could happen tonight I feel like the Twitter reveal will probably happen tonight uh, for both sides um, but we can you know go back to like some of the other Golden Week tools to on fest to see you know what similarities they had right so if you go back to like two years ago we had the uh, trunks and Zamasu and in terms of the release date, as you can see, yeah, April 26, 2029, which actually is today. So, uh, actually, no, that's tomorrow. Never mind. That's tomorrow. So, uh, this year, maybe it's going to be 26, 27, 28, somewhere in that range. And then on global, it was November 12th, 2029. And then if you look at, you know, last year, we had, uh, you know, the Go Tanks and the Exchange Boo, and they both, both released on April 24th. And uh, we came out, or we got it on the Global in November. So usually for the Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest, Global gets it in November. This year we get it in May at the same time. That's why I'm so shocked. I'm very happy about it, but definitely shocked. And if you yeah look at these units, they all had two transformations each, right? Like the Trunks, the Zamasu. I guess technically the Boo had the Exchange, because that's just how the character works, but... Um, yeah, essentially two transformations, and uh, the first transformation is always involuntary, so it just kind of happens after you meet a condition, and then the second transformation is through an active skill. So I'm assuming that both the Goku and the Vegeta, the GT Goku and Vegeta, will be doing the same thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be a two-stage transformation. First transformation will occur after like three to four turns have passed. And then second transformation is an active skill, and uh, it's probably gonna be. Oh, hold on, actually, no, 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 no. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. Um, it's been a while since I've used the trunk, so I don't remember exactly. I, it's an active skill, right? It is an active skill. There, okay, I was right. I was right. Just needed to confirm. Um, yeah, and then a second transformation is through an active skill, and uh, for these guys, it was upon next attack and turn, which is obviously ideal because um, it's very easy to get them to their final form. Whereas for the Go Tanks and the uh, Boo, it was a little bit harder. Like for the Go Tanks here, it can be activated when HP is 70% or more, starting from the fourth turn after transformation. So it really took a lot longer for the Go Tanks and also the Boo to uh, get those transformations or that active skill, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, they go back 
to, uh, you know, the Trunks and Zamasu formula and make it easier for us to get the Goku and the Vegeta into their final forms. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all we can infer for now. Um, I guess since we're getting the dual Dokkan Fest, we're probably also just going to be getting, like, the full celebration, right? Like, the, the, all the events that will be coming with Golden Week for JP this year, too. So, a couple things I can think of, obviously, are some Extreme Z Awakenings for uh, existing GT Gokus and Vegetas in the game, like uh, this Super Saiyan 2 GT Goku, I hope gets an easy A. Um, and, I mean, I don't care too much about the other guys, to be honest. Yeah, this one's the main one I want to see an easy A for, and obviously the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, I would like to see uh, e easy A's for as well. But mainly, I want to see the 120 Elite easy A's, man. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen this time. Um, I, I feel like maybe they'll do one of them. I don't see both. Although it is possible. They kind of come together. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So maybe they'll give both of them easy A's. But what I feel like is more likely is that they'll give some of these, you know, side units. Like uh, maybe this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Um, and then maybe like this Super Saiyan GT Vegeta or something like that. Easy A's. And then... Uh, give either Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the, uh, you know, STR one, or the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, an easy A. And then we'll get the other, um, you know, 120 lead, uh, later on. So, that's my prediction. I could be completely wrong. I mean, hold on, actually. Uh, this Super Saiyan Vegeta is actually a World Tournament unit, I think. So, never mind. Never mind. Um, maybe not him. But definitely, I feel like, you know, one of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas or uh, one of the 120 leads. And yeah, guys, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm just, you guys know, I'm a global main. I've, uh, you know, gotten accustomed to just waiting a long ass time for this stuff. And for them to kind of just flip the script on us and, and, and drop the Golden Week to a Dokkan Fest. I guess, I guess it was just like a scheduling thing. Um, they didn't really have enough time to give us like, you know, just give us like a Videl or something like that uh, within the like one week in between now and the Goku Day celebration. So I guess they just had to do it um, like this. It was, actually, it was probably planned uh, a long time ago because usually, you know, for releases, they uh, do have a schedule like way in advance. So this is cool. This is cool. Now, I feel like this is going to start a lot of the conversation once again of like whether they're trying to bring Global and JP together. You know, they're trying to match up the timelines and all that stuff. And I don't think it's going to happen. I'm still very much of the opinion that like they're never going to fully match them up. You know, we might get closer sometimes and then pull away a little bit and then get a little bit closer and then pull away. It's kind of been a back and forth uh, for the past like year or two years, right? And uh, I just don't think it's ever going to fully be lined up, synced up, but it is possible, okay? I'm, I'm not going to completely shut that down because I do think there's always going to be that tiny chance they do it. I mean, they've been doing a lot of things that, like, I didn't expect, you know, <laughs> like recently with some updates. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a possibility. I just don't really, <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to happen. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is a sign. If you think it's a sign that they're trying to bring the, the sides back together, or not back, they've never been together, uh, closer together, or rather, like, try to sync them up over time, right? Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the news. Hopefully, we get the reveals uh, shortly, and we can watch the animations together, uh, take a look at their kits, their details, and, uh, you know, just see how good they are. Uh, I'm stoked, though. I'm stoked. I, I love GT. I, I think I like GT more than definitely the average person. Um, obviously, it's kind of polarizing, right? Some people really like it. Some people really hate it. I'm definitely much closer to the people that really love it as opposed to people that hate it. Um, I do think that's his flaws, of course. You know, it, it definitely was not up to par with Dragon Ball Z, but it had some great, it had some great moments. It gave us some great characters, so... Uh, yeah, I'm good with it. Anyways, that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. Global and JP joint dual Dokkan Fest, not for a worldwide celebration, not for a download celebration. Um, I dig it. Yo, I I'm, I'm totally down for this. Keep doing this, Bandai. 
we we don't mind it so yeah that's it i'll see you guys in the next video very soon as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if you're new here first time watching or maybe you've been watching for a while and never subbed then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button join the tiger squad now and uh, also hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out